Hello, my name is Tom Morrison, a senior applications engineer based in the UK. The following video will guide you through the setting up and using the AV equipment for placing infralock fasteners. The AV tool setup comprises of four elements the Enipac hydraulic power unit, quick connect hydraulic hose sets, placing tool, and the nose assembly. The Enipac hydraulic power unit is a high performance custom Enipac pump unit. Portable and robust design with proven reliability. It has a high efficient two-stage pump for increased oil flow rate and bypass pressure, but with 18% less current draw than comparable pumps. A range of powerful universal industrial electric motors, which are fully enclosed and fan-cooled for high durability and extended working life. The backlit LCD provides self-test diagnostic and readout capability. The LCD screen touchpad enables accurate pressure readout and easy setting of operating pressures. Reservoir heat exchanger for cooler operation, stabilised oil viscosity, increasing oil life and reducing wear on pump and tool components. The power pack has a protection class rating of IP54, making it suitable for use in harsh environments. Enipac provides worldwide support and lifetime warranty for peace of mind and global availability of spares maintenance and repair and service. The hydraulic hoses are available in three lengths, 5, 10 and 15 metres. Custom lengths can be supplied upon request. The high pressure hydraulic hoses are fitted with quick connectors and are enclosed within a protective sleeve which is securely clamped at each end by cable clamps, which keeps the protective sleeve in place and not migrating to one end. The trigger cord is made of high strength steel braided cable for extra durability. A newly designed range of hand tools for high speed placing of a range of fasteners from 5 16 to 1 inch and an eighth with an option of suspension systems. Robust and highly durable design incorporating high strength materials, protective hose guard and armour control cable for a long working life in extreme conditions. Lighter in weight and more compact than equivalent competitor tools for improved manoeuvrability in limited access applications. Piston diameter increase and ultra high strength steel used for proven increase in fatigue strength when compared to competitor tools. High performance lip seals and wiper seals implemented for increased seal life and reduced oil loss means infrequent servicing. Bearing rings to prevent metal to metal contact between piston and cylinder head for resistance to side loading and increased piston and seal life. Self-contained seal gland assemblies for easy disassembly and maintenance. Angled handles are based on the Genesis design for proven ergonomic form which improves operator comfort and reduce operator fatigue. A newly designed range of spannerless quick change nose assemblies for all diameters of infralock and the larger diameters of avdalock, avbolt and avseal. When the trigger is depressed, the motor will start and a solenoid valve located on the hydraulic pump unit is energised, directing the pressurised oil flow through one side of the hydraulic hose set to the rear of the placing tool, moving the piston rearwards and setting the fastener. Releasing the trigger or when the pressure in the pull side reaches the preset high pressure value 510 bar will start the return timer and cause the solenoid to de-energize and direct the flow of pressurized oil through the other side of the hydraulic hose set to the front of the placing tool, moving the piston to the forward position, pushing the nose equipment off the fastener. The oil pressure will increase to a preset low pressure value of 200 bar. The pump motor will continue to run until the return timer has expired. At this time, the motor will stop automatically and the valve will switch to the idle position releasing the pressurised oil to the reservoir from both sides of the placing tool. No pressure will be present in the hydraulic system at this point. Before assembling and operating equipment, be sure to read the appropriate instruction manual, paying particular attention to the health and safety instructions. For this practical demonstration we will set the equipment for placing half inch infralock using an EP3 hydraulic power unit, an AV15 installation tool and a half inch infralock nose assembly. For shipping purposes a red shipping plug is installed in the breather port on the top of the reservoir. 
Remove this and replace with a black breather cap supplied. Before putting the hydraulic pump unit into service, we will have to set the pump return timer setting to 5 seconds as per the instruction manual for the AV15 tool. This timer controls the time that the pump motor will continue to run after releasing the trigger or achieving a high pressure value before switching to the idle mode. We will also have to ensure the pump pressure relief valves have been set to 510 bar in accordance with the maximum pressures specified in the instruction manual. To do this, connect the hydraulic power unit to the power supply and switch on. Wait 5 seconds for the pump unit to complete the boot sequence. When set, the LCD screen will display Avdel and the current pump pressure. This should read 0 bar. Below the LCD screen are four buttons that are the main interface between the operator and the unit. The motor button enables activation of the unit when the unit is set in local mode. The menu button enables you to step through the various menus. Pressing the menu button also saves any changes made. By holding the menu button down for two seconds, saves any changes made and also returns you to the start Avdel screen. The up and down arrows are to step through the menu options and adjust the settings. Push the menu button once to display the return time screen. Using the up and down buttons, set this to 5 seconds. Push the menu button 3 more times until the display shows the high pressure screen. Ensure this is set to 510 bar. If not, adjust by pushing up and down buttons till the 510 bar is displayed. Push the menu button and hold for 2 seconds. This will save the settings and return to the start display, Avdel. If the quick release hose set is new, it will have to be primed. This is quick and easy to do. First ensure the unit is disconnected from the power supply. Connect one end of the quick release hose set to the power unit. Connect the other two ends of the hose set together to form a loop. Reconnect the power supply and scroll through the menu to screen 9, Local. Push the down button to turn this to on. Save the settings and exit by pushing and holding the menu button down for 2 seconds. This will now enable you to operate the unit from the keypad. Push and hold the up arrow for approximately 30 seconds, then push the motor off button. Oil will be pumped through the hoses, expelling any air into the reservoir. Deactivate the local mode by displaying the local menu and pushing the up arrow to turn this to off. Save the settings and exit by pressing the menu button and holding for 2 seconds. Turn off power supply and disconnect the hose set. The placing tools are supplied ready primed, so do not need priming, but should they need priming due to maintenance, this is done in the following sequence. Connect the placing tools hydraulic hose quick couplers directly to the unit. Then connect the electrical control cable. Switch on the power supply to the hydraulic pump unit. Wait 5 seconds for the pump unit to complete the boot sequence. Ensure the placing tool is positioned below the pump reservoir tank. Depress and release the trigger switch a few times to almost full stroke. This circulates the hydraulic fluid and expels air from the tool. Observe action of tool to ensure you have the full stroke. Switch off power supply and disconnect the tool. All the equipment is now primed and set, ready for assembly. Assemble nose assembly as per the nose assembly datasheet, making sure all components are present and in the correct orientation. Holding the placing tool pointing down, screw the assembled collet fully onto the piston rod until it's flush with the end of the collet. 
Insert collet lock by turning the collet till it engages, making sure the collet lock is flush with the collet. Slide anvil over the collet and fully tighten down. Connect the placing tool hydraulic hose to one end of the hose set. Then connect the electrical control cable. Connect the other end of the hydraulic hose set and electrical control cable to the pump unit. Turn the power to the pump unit on. Wait 5 seconds for the pump unit to complete the boot sequence. Depress the trigger on the placing tool a few times to ensure the correct operation and that there are no oil leaks. Push the interlock pin through the application hole. Place the collar over the pin, making sure the bevel end of the collar faces outwards towards the nose assembly. Push the nose assembly over the pin until the nose assembly rests against the collar. Hold the tool at 90 degrees to the application and depress the trigger switch to start the installation cycle. When the forward motion of the tool stops and the pin tail breaks, release the trigger switch. The tool will then go into return stroke and push off the installed fastener. The expended pin tail will be ejected from the rear of the tool. For demonstration purposes, we would recommend the use of pump unit EP8, the ZU4. It has a more common voltage of 208 to 240 volts and is the lightest of the power units. Having a weight of only 36 kilograms, it can be easily lifted and transported in the back of a car. Thank you for watching this instructional video. For more in-depth information on any of the points covered, please consult the appropriate manual. Thank you.